um, it all started, we've been doing the, the conservation dog program for, for 16 years now. Okay. Yeah. And it started off as training dogs for conservation and I had three dogs, uh, three different terriers for that, for cats, feral cats, uh, mustelids and rodents. And Woody comes from a long line of um, predator dogs that I started a breeding program years ago and okay. one of them actually ended up here at Orokanui with Elton. He's, we've diversified it but he's a, he's a, a Jad Terrier, that's a J-A-G-D, German Hunt Terrier, Jad Terrier. Okay. Um, his mother was a purebred and his father uh, was a Border Terrier. Okay. Cross, so that's the first cross, and, and I've always crossed the breeds to get the exact one we want. You know, okay. um, we started off with foxes, and because I do so much work in, in Fiordland and, and, and in the sub Antarctic and stuff like that, yeah. they needed to be a bit hairier and a bit warmer and to, right. to so handle the conditions. Yeah. These dogs, like, they could work eight to ten hours a day right. on rocky shores and you know, yeah. like bush, so so they really have to be a bit bit tougher and have motivation. Yeah. Because we could do eight hours a day for a month on an island searching for something yeah. after an eradication program, and we know, pretty well know there's nothing there, but we're searching as you, right. these dogs, so, so that could go on for weeks yeah. with nothing. So they have to have motivation to carry on and, and not worry about the non-targets and we have to also remember that they're only one tool we use for monitoring yeah. so they're not the silver bullet um, you know it's even an orica nui here um, they have tracking tunnels they have traps they have yeah. all manner of different monitoring tools and the dog is just another one yeah. but, but the thing about the dog is they work best with low numbers right. they're more sensitive than any of the other monitoring tools we have you know, people think it's hard case because every time I come out of here, Elton will say, did you find anything? Did you find anything? No, we didn't find anything this time, Elton, or the dog didn't locate anything where we had been. Not, yeah. no, no, there's nothing in here. We didn't find anything. We can never say that because with all the different conditions, wind, rain, sun, whatever, yeah. a dog can miss a target by inches. Right, So yeah. it's, it's not only the dog, it's the team. The handler and the dog, it, it's, a, it's a team together. So yep. the dog might be sort of having a bit of interest over there by the pool or something down there. So we'll go over there and have a look with them. Yep. And we'll say, what do you think? Yep. And the dog will look at you and say, no, I don't want to go any further because it might be a duck in the rushes or something like that. So he'll tell us really and we'll say, ah, leave that, come on, and, and walk yep. off. We don't just go, get him like that because oh my god that could be trouble <laughs>